of the African Development Bank Group since I've been president. Thank you very much, sir, for all that you have done for the African Development Bank. We will never forget you. Honorable Ken Oforiata, the chairperson of the Board of Governors of the African Development Bank Group. Honorable Ministers, Governors of the African Development Bank Group. Excellences, Heads of Regional Economic Communities. Ambassadors, Heads of Diplomatic Missions. My Board of Directors, Management and Staff of the African Development Bank Group. Eminent Members of the Press. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and of course, my darling and beautiful wife, Grace. I wish to thank you, Your Excellency, President Nana Kufo Adu, for hosting these annual meetings of the African Development Bank Group in this beautiful city of Accra. I know that you launched the year of return for people of African origin to return to Ghana, which has been quite successful. Well, today, Mr. President, you have so many participants from across Africa, from across the world, for these annual meetings. I hope many of them stay and now return home because of the excellent hospitality of the government and the people of Ghana. <clears throat> to them, I say, Akwaba, welcome. Welcome to the gathering of the friends of Africa, the partners of Africa. For this place today is filled with those who have faith in and hope in Africa. Yet, there are millions of Africans who we serve every day who are not here. Yet, we must see them. Yet, we must hear their voices, yet we must feel their needs in all that we do. For we do not represent ourselves, we represent them. Their lives are affected every day by climate change, majority of them women. Many of their lives are affected by lack of electricity from a key struggling to read with candles or lanterns, or the occasional street light in their neighborhoods, to a mother who straps her baby on her back, using fuel wood and charcoal to cook, yet exposing herself and her child to the effects of fumes that endanger their lives. So, the theme of our annual meetings, achieving climate resilience and a just energy transition, it's all about people. Africa is the least emitter of climate carbon emissions in the world, accounting for only 4% of all global greenhouse gas emissions. Yet, the continent suffers disproportionately from the negative impacts of climate change, including increased frequency and intensity of droughts, cyclones, floods, compounded by desertification. Climate change is simply short-changing African economies. Africa suffers seven to $15 billion per year in losses to climate change which are projected to rise to $40 billion per year by 2030. Africa has no choice but to adapt to climate change that it did not cause. To support the continent in doing so, the African Development Bank has doubled its financing for climate to $25 billion by 2025. Without any doubt, the African Development Bank is the leader on climate adaptation in Africa and globally. The share of our climate finance dedicated to adaptation is 67%, the highest of all multilateral development banks, and I was particularly excited when UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon singled out the bank 
in the UN General Assembly last year that the bank is leading and others should follow. <laughs> Your Excellencies, the bank and the Global Centre on Adaptation, we are implementing what we call the African Adaptation Acceleration Program, or AAAP, with the goal of mobilizing $25 billion in climate adaptation financing for Africa. The bank is also supporting countries to ensure themselves against extreme weather events through its Africa Disaster Risk Insurance Facility. Today, the facility is helping nine countries to pay for insurance premiums to protect themselves and their populations from the effects of climate change. In Madagascar, our support of $4 million to pay for the full insurance of the country allowed it to get $12 million in payouts to compensate over 600,000 farmers when Cyclone Batsirai hit the country. Your Excellencies, we need more financing to ensure many more low-income countries against these extreme weather events. The bank is leading on securing the food supplies, Your Excellency, for Africa in the face of climate change. Six years ago, with the approval of our board of directors, I launched the Feed Africa strategy of the bank. Our goal was to deliver climate-resilient agricultural technologies to farmers and to feed Africa. We are achieving incredible success. Our Feed Africa work has already benefited over 76 million farmers with access to improved agricultural technologies across Africa. Our flagship program, which we call Technologies for African Agricultural Transformation, or in abbreviation TAAT or TART, has delivered climate smart seeds to 12 million farmers in 27 countries in just two years. We are helping farmers to beat climate change. TART delivered water efficient maize to 5.6 million households in East Africa, an area hit by severe droughts three years ago. The drought was severe, but farmers secured their food supply with the water-efficient maize varieties. In Sudan, TAT financed the provision of 65,000 tons of heat-tolerant wheat varieties. That is seeds enough to fill 665 Airbus 380 aircraft. If you take an Airbus 380 aircraft, the people in it, the cargo, and the fuel is 98.4 metric tons. So when I tell you 65,000 metric tons, what I'm telling you is think about 665 A380 Airbuses packed on a landing strip. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sudanese farmers grew the varieties on 187,000 hectares. In just two years, Sudan reduced its wheat import by 50%. We did the same in Ethiopia. Tart financed the provision of 45,000 tons of seeds of heat-tolerant wheat varieties to farmers in Ethiopia. The farmers initially started with 5,000 hectares of these heat-tolerant wheat varieties in 2018. They expanded to 167,000 hectares two years later. And by the end of this year, they have expanded it to 400,000 hectares. I was in Ethiopia just last week, and I was very honored to be conferred with a honorary doctorate 
by the Addis Ababa University.